Good morning, everybody. Have you ever woke up and be like, my eyes are popping today. Like my brown is brown today. So I'm like, oh, oh, we're going to make sure that brown pops even more. <laughs> so I'm just going to play with these three. That's it. Maybe put a little of the purple Nova on the purple. Like, but it's like, that's it. Keeping it simple today because my eyes are just doing whatever they want to do today. But I am going to go see my oldest daughter and wish her a happy birthday in person. Yeah, that'll work. All right. But because I'm going to be in the vehicle and I'm doing all this crazy stuff today, I'm still going to do a little bit of some foundation primer just to keep everything kind of in place. And like I said, this is also getting me in the right routine for summer. <laughs> now, what I did do this morning, ladies, is um, so during the retinization process, uh, there's no facial peels, no microderms, no charcoal mask. I did a charcoal mask this morning. <sighs> My skin feels so good. It feels great, but it feels, you know, that next level that you get when you do the charcoal mask, like clean. Um, so I did that today. All right. So I've set my skin. And that's real important, ladies. If you're going to be doing anything, make sure your skin is prepped and ready to go. That's probably the biggest thing, even with makeup, is your skin has to be moisturized, clean, and ready to go for the best results. All right, so under eye corrector is gonna do his oxidizing and wonderful magic. All right, so since I'm gonna be playing in purple land today, I'm gonna take pink starlight and I'm gonna put it on the bottom just cause I wanna pull a little more pink out of the blossom that I'm gonna be wearing today. And then I'm gonna put purple Nova on top I'm digging playing with the liquid cream eyeshadows like this. It's like, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. But I can't take too long, so we got to get on the road. Okay. So, um, because we like to play with mattes in the crease, right? We always want to do mattes in the crease. I'm going to take that beautiful brown. It's mahogany. I'm going to put that in my crease for right now, but I'm going to end up putting the sweet plum on top for dramatic effect. All right, so we're gonna bring that mahogany right over here. Yeah. Although that looks pretty by itself, right? You're just like, why are you doing anything else? So this weekend, I'm gonna be doing some um, videos that I'll post about, um, one's gonna be about skin type, normal, dry, combination, oily like how do you, can you really tell what somebody's yes so oh hello um so i'm gonna do a video on that coming soon all right now we're gonna take blossom we're gonna put that everywhere mahogany isn't okay so we're gonna definitely tap here and while mahogany is one of the more neutral colors, it has a slight pink tint to it, which I want today. So, I almost did something bad. I almost dipped that into the mahogany and went to town. <laughs> and then come up. There we go. Now I do this afterwards because that way I get the most impact out of my crease. Although it looks like, while I don't have twins, I would like them to look more fraternal, I guess. Or less fraternal, more identical. That's better. All right. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and blend. get that more natural look I 
There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do the sweet plum. So now we're gonna do sweet plum. We're gonna come in here in the outer corner and then we're gonna come up on top of the mahogany and get this really pretty deep purple. Mm-hmm. And just layer that in. Yep. All right. Now, blending is key. So we're going to come back in and we're going to blend this as well. Blend, blend, blend. And we're gonna do foundation and concealer to clean up right there. All right, so we got that. We're gonna come back in with the blossom. Sometimes when you blend, that eyelid color gets a little lost. So we're gonna bring that back in. Yeah, there we go. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take the orchid. Eyeliner. This is going to get crazy y'all just feel it. Just feel it coming. Okay. Um, all right, so we're going to take orchid and I have, I have plenty of these ladies. So if you are like, Ooh, cause I know Michelle's getting one. Sarah's getting one. All right. So we're gonna take the orchid and I'm going to just dash that in so that it glides. Okay, we're gonna smudge it in a minute, don't worry. All right. Dash, dash, dash. And then glide. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, if you're somebody who really likes your eyeliner to be thicker, you can just keep going. Y'all know I do it more for my lashes to look fuller than eyeliner per se. Now I want you to take your smudger brush and we're gonna go grab that sweet plum. No, that's not a smudger brush. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, smudger brush in the sweet plum. And then we're gonna go on top of this And again, that's just to make sure the line is smoother. Okay. And then I'm gonna come underneath two thirds of the way, just with a sweet plum. I do powder eyeliner because it looks more natural. It's not as harsh. Right? And I do it because to two thirds because that keeps the focus on your pupils. Keep people looking right there. Okay? Now we're gonna do something tricky. You ready? Alright, so now I'm going to take purple nova. Hold on. And I'm gonna put that on top of the eyeliner area, both up and bottom. Yeah. That's right, you heard me. All right. So we're gonna take this, get that all up in there. Okay. All right. And we're gonna put that 
and that's gonna give that little pop of glisten right on top. And then still soft, but just a little more punch. Okay, sorry. All right, so we're gonna take that. We're gonna give these a little comb through, make sure everybody's laying down like they're supposed to. Now we're gonna do CC cream because we're gonna be out and about today. And I am getting more color. When this bottle's empty, I think I'm switching. I think you're gonna see me switch to light to medium real soon. And I want this to kind of be that more natural look, except for my eyes today, so. I'm not trying to cover up everything. Which you can do with CC cream and even the 3D. You can do a real light coverage or you can do more. You honestly get to choose. With 3D, you can choose moisture or matte. The CC cream, you get to choose what I would call dewy or natural. I mean, I can get you to straight on matte, but I can show you how. All right, so now we're gonna take, just cause I wanna really clean that up just a little bit more. We're gonna take my Perfecting Concealer, which has light deflecting properties that in that inner corner area come down just a little don't do the tri don't do the triangle don't be crazy all right and then we're gonna take this five second eye lift and we're gonna clean up right there in that outer corner right Nice and cleaned up. Get right up in there and then just gently create that natural, no crepiness, right? Just a natural. Just a natural look. Except for my eyes. My eyes are popping today because I knew they would. Okay, and we haven't even done mascara. All right, lash primer. Are we ready? Yeah, we're better now. All right. This brings me back to a little bit to my high school days. I had a purple palette. Oh my gosh, four shades of purple. My favorite color, my favorite color is red and then purple. Hello, oh, <laughs> almost done. All right, we're gonna do lash intensity today because I'm just feeling these eyes deserve lots of love today. All right, so we're gonna start here. We're gonna build up the volume. And then we're going to switch and add a length. Yeah. Mm hmm All right. You know, I accidentally did this, and now I, I'm like, I'm so glad I did. <laughs> oh. but you know what? 
know what we're going to do? We're going to let that dry. We are going to refuse, refuse to touch that until it's dry. All right. So lips today. Mm. Ooh, I think I'm going to do this. This Tawny with this lip liner. Mm. I think we're going to do lip primer first. I need to open up another lip primer. Yep. No, that's a good one. And again, this is going to stop the feathering. It also helps with fine lines and wrinkles. But anyway, I'm going to do videos, talk about your skin, talk about the buzzwords, right? Where's my glasses? Um, Amelia, peptides, rosacea, like all that stuff. They're going to be like PSAs, but they're going to be Michelle PSAs. There we go. All right, y'all. So that's that nude. But I'm going to do a liquid lip on top. crazy idea but I wonder how close so this is deeper right yeah they're about the same color all right <laughs> all right so again I could use concealer just to tighten that up if I wanted to. Although I think it's popping today, so I don't think I will. But to set it for the day, we are going to take our translucent powder. I'm going to put it on my all-over brush. We're going to pack that in there. And pack that in. Mm -hmm. What I like is it also takes off that little bit that's extra. You know you don't want it on there anyway. But I'm set. It's going to look like this all day. Mm -hmm. All right, so now i got to set the rest of my face. <laughs> and dry all right but it's okay I could have taken my eye makeup remover and fixed it too but that was in the bathroom <laughs> Do a little more powder right there. Now for my dry ladies, after my charcoal mask today, I did use my intense moisturizing cream just for a little extra moisture today. All right, ladies, so what do you think? This is what I'm gonna do when I go see my daughter today. Give her a hug, get my hugs in with my girl and just enjoy company with her. Because she turned 28 yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Mary Kay. But, um, there we go. 
That's my look for the day. I hope you like it. Um, as always, I'm here to help in any way, but stay tuned for the PSAs. Um, I have a couple of different ones I'll do, and as always, it's my pleasure and honor to support you. Thanks, and have a wonderful Saturday.